Friends, today we have with us Mr. Pratap, who is from Virudhanagar district, who is uh, from a rural background. Now, in his very first attempt, uh, Pratap, our student, he has made it into All India 21st rank. So, first of all, congrats to Pratap. And Pratap, just few sentences from you. How was your feel yesterday? Once you saw the result, what was your feel? Uh, the first uh, thing when, when I saw the result was uh, I could not believe myself and I was uh, I was dumbstruck for 10 minutes then there was a call from my friend he was congratulating me then only I thought that uh, I got the rank really then uh, the feeling was uh, I got something which I wanted for last 20 in the 10 years so that was one fi one little achievement I, I did uh, in my whole life I thought and then I thought of my parents' sacrifices and also my family things. And uh, also, I thought like this is a big responsibility which is given to me at the age of 20 to 23. So I must uh, live to the expectation and be efficient. That's a bit, sir. Very good. And uh, one small correction, it's not a small achievement to get All India 21st rank in the very first attempt. So congrats. Thanks. Second, what is, you know, next few days, on, you know, 18th uh, June. Yes. And have you applied for prelims? Yes, sir. I was actually preparing for the prelims after finishing my interview on 17th, 16th of uh, May. I remember yeah. you were telling. <laughs> yeah. So, you are preparing. Now, what is your advice for the prelims which you applied but you are not going to appear now? But <laughs> others yes, are going sir. to appear. What is the advice? Sir, one uh, thing which I used to say is not an advice but the revision is a very important key for uh, prelims and uh, keep the sources minimum. Uh, like uh, one book for one subject, one NCRT is coupled with one subject book, whichever is good, you can have it and revise it as much time as possible because the questions are going to come and at the tensed moment even the things which you know will forget. So if you revise that, you can overcome the pressure and one other thing is the consistency. The peop um, future, uh, the aspirants should have consistency in their preparation because this is a one uh, examination which needs a kind of consistent preparation uh, because the examination itself carries a period of one year and one more year for uh, studies. So, this two years you have to be consistent and the hard work and perseverance will pay. And on the good. day of exam, do you want to tell any specific technique how they have to behave on the day of exam? Uh, in my opinion, I sh we should not believe it is a UPSC examination. Like how uh, if we attend a mock examination, we will be little bit uh, less tensed and we have to think it as a final mock which is which we are going to give at a very best mock. Like if you think that four word UPSC, you will get a kind of tension which, which will not be there in the mock test. So one advice is keep calm and... Uh, think that it is one more mock. That's yeah, what yeah, you want uh, to it say. It is mo one more mock and... If you are a serious civil servant, uh, if you are a serious prepare, uh, aspirant, if the question paper is tough, it is going to be tough for everybody. So we are going to do the best. We have to believe in ourselves. So you want to say we should think that we are the most intelligent person yes, yes. on the day of exam. We have to believe ourselves, which is true, very exactly important. true. Any other thing you want to tell? Yes, sir. Uh, the final thing which I want to say is I want to thank the officers IS Academy uh, under the guidance of uh, Sisrajar and Rangarajan sir and other faculties of uh, the uh, officers Academy who were instrumental in my preparation throughout uh, my uh, phases, three phases and, and I thank them. Thank you also for making us proud of Pratap. It's a thank wonderful you, location. Thank you sir. Thank you. Thank you.